So my friends, this is the prototype design pattern in Python. Now the prototype design pattern is good for when creating a new object it may require more resources than you want to use or have available versus just making a new copy in memory. Now for example, a file, you may have downloaded it from a server already and it might be large and you'd rather just make a copy and work on that rather than download the file again. So what you do is you create a, an interface, an interface with one method called clone, and then you have concrete classes which, which will implement this interface and they will implement their own version of clone, how they see best. Now what's important to think about is whether each of these clone methods is a shallow copy or a deep copy. Now a shallow copy is uh, one level deep, a deep copy is all levels. And this uh, will depend on your kind of implementation. Let's start coding. Okay, so let's create a file. This one's going to call it prototype.py. Okay, so it says prototype.py. Now I'm going to create this, uh, first of all, I'm going to create this interface called iPrototype. Now I'm just going to copy and paste mostly because it's uh, my file. The files are on GitHub and I'll put a link in the description. But uh, like normal, I need uh, the abstract base classes module. Helps me to enforce the rules of the interface. Okay, so here's an interface. It's called iPrototype, meta class ABC meta. The interface with the clone method, so abstract static method, clone. Now the clone, Deep or shallow is up to you how you want to implement the details in your concrete class. Okay, now let's create uh, two concrete classes, concrete class one and concrete class two. Concrete class one implements I prototype. There it is there. So it needs, well, it needs a, an init for one and it needs a clone. And uh, I'm going to have just a uh, basic printout function, which we'll use to just print out its internals. Now, this uh, is just an example class here, and I pass in an integer, a string, a list, and a dictionary, so that we can see how these different things are copied when we clone it. In this version, concrete class one, I'm doing what's called a shallow copy. And I'm going to create concrete class two, which is almost identical, except it does a deep copy down here and it uses a copy module from uh, Python. This is the Python copy module. Um, import, uh, Im, import copy. The module. Make a shallow copy or make a deep copy. Excellent. Okay, so uh, they're, they're both there for examples. I will just, uh, that's it now. That's one prototype and there's two concrete classes that have slight difference in them. And that is how they do their internal copy. But they both implement the client method. So let's uh, give that a quick test now. So if name equals main, okay, so here I got, I'm gonna create a new object, so I'm object uh, one equals a concrete class one. And I'll give it some ver some values such as, cause it needs a, uh, it needs an, an integer string or list in a dictionary. So I'm just gonna give an integer of one, a string of class one, whoops. Oh, object one doesn't really matter actually it's just a string now a new list and that list will be one two three and also a dictionary uh, and a uh, default dictionary which can be uh, just as something simple a one b two and c three okay now let's cr uh, print that out print object one 
Let's see what that looks like. That's a concrete class one, and that is just uh, let's just see what that looks like first. Before we pr progress, so uh, Python prototype. Okay, so that, let's print out the ID of object one. And there we go. That's the integer, the string, the list, and the dictionary. Now I'm going to create a copy of object one. Let's create a new object called object two and equals object one dot clone. So that there is using the new prototype interface that we've just created. So let's uh, print what object two looks like. Okay, so. Uh, Python has given it a new reference down there. I'm just printing out the ID. Okay, the data, the internal data looks the same, but it's actually all copied. Let's uh, see what object one looks like still. There we go, object one's ID hasn't changed. Let's change the one of the values of object two there. Object two dot S equals object two. Okay. We can see that the object to S has now changed. There we go. Excellent. Let's, uh, an object one has been left unchanged. Okay, so let's change object two's list. Uh, the list equals, uh, say, four, five, six. Let's see if that, if that affects object one's list. Okay. Uh, object one's list has remained unchanged. So this copying or this cloning seems to be working quite well. But I'll show you where it does go wrong and why we may need to use deep copy rather than just copy. But I should be able, because it's a, a shallow copy, it's creating a shallow copy of the list. It's a new list. So if I was to just change one of the values of the list, say it says one, two, three, if I was to change to P, position 0 to be a uh, 10 that should still be okay because that's a shallow copy okay so the, there we go so object 1 is 1 2 3 and object 2 is 10 2 3 now I'm going to show you where it goes wrong now so if for instance in object 1 this first second or third element was actually another list say 1 2 3 Okay, that's uh, might be a bit easier to read now. Okay, so that was okay because I've changed the whole first element. But if I was to change the inner the inner element of the first element, let's have a look at that. So zero zero, this will now also change number one's inner list. Okay, there we go. See, object one's inner list is equal to ten. And I only wanted to change object two's in a list. Now to solve that problem, you would use deep copy. So I'm just going to use the deep copy in um, concrete classes one. It's clone method, and let's see what happens there. Okay, so object one has remained unchanged now. Now that may be a lot to take in. Doesn't matter. I'll make another video on uh, the differences. Of between deep and shallow copy and mutable and immutable objects pretty soon. So to show you again what I just did is we uh, did the prototype pattern. It was a prototype interface with a clone method and there were two classes, concrete class one, concrete class two and they implemented the clone method and they had a choice whether they would use a shallow copy or a deep copy when they copied their internal representations. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.